Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at where between and where not between. Now, these two functions are very similar and they're actually fairly new to the Laravel framework. So let's jump right into our first example. I'm going to make a new collection and it's going to contain some products. Let's add product. We'll start with apples. Let's give that a price of 50. Let's add pears. Let's add bananas. And finally, let's add some coconuts. Let's change the price here to 50, 60, 70, 80. So where between will allow you to actually pass in an array containing two digits, and those digits are going to be your range. If we wanted to find everything between 60 and 80, that's where where between would go. So let's say that we want to find the price is between 60 and 80 and now let's go ahead and run it now i left this on purpose to show you that this is a very new addition to the laravel framework so i have not updated i'm actually still in version 5.7.17 so if you run into this error it basically means that your installed version does not actually have where between it's a fairly new method so i'm going to run composer update and this will get us to the latest version of Laravel, which at the time of this recording is 5.7.20. And there we go. It's done updating. Let's take a look at this line right here. Laravel framework, we were in 5.7.17, and now we are in 5.7.20. So let's run that collection one more time and see what we get. And sure enough, we're back to working. Now we can continue with this lesson. So where between has returned to us everything in between 60 and 80. So of course we have three results. So this is very useful. Now there is a counterpart method which is called we're not between. And as you can expect, we're not between does the opposite. And so we see the results here as only being apples because we know that of course where between is going to return these three items. So the opposite of that would return this item here. Now this will be extremely useful if you're looking for a particular range of products or IDs or something like that in your collections. Now the last thing I want to tell you about where between and where not between is that it returns a new collection. So if we were to do something like collection equals that and then on a new line we're going to call collection and call that where not between and finally return our collection. What do you expect to get here? we get our original collection back. And that's because we're not between and we're between, neither of them actually do anything to the original collection. They do everything and return a new collection. So let's save this to new collection, a variable, and let's return new collection instead, and let's check out the results. So sure enough, we're back to where we started. So keep that in mind whenever you're using where between and we're not between.